Now let's understand the concept of Salesforce additions. What is mean by Salesforce addition? First, let's understand what is an addition. Now let me give you a small instance. Say for example, we plan to buy a Samsung Note. So what is the first thing that we do to entry? We just go browse for information. We compare the different versions of Samsung Note, right? We have Note 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we compare the different versions, understand their functionality, how they differ from each other, what are all the features available in Note 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is the cost? Definitely a very important factor. And then we take a call on which edition best suit us. Right? Say for example, one person might think Note 5 has got all the advanced features. So definitely I should go for Note 5. The second person might think uh, Note 5 has got all the advanced features, but then the price is very high. It doesn't fit into my budget. So let me go for Note 4. Third person might think Note 4, Note 5 has got all the good features, the advanced features, but then basically I don't use them. I don't need them. The features which I use, I need are very much available in Note 2. So let me stick on with Note 2. Right? So what does it imply? It very clearly implies that it depends on person to person. The requirements differ from one person to another person. So it is up to us to take a call on which version best suit us. We might buy Note 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, totally up to us, right? So the same concept applies to Salesforce as well. When a business decides on to purchase Salesforce CRM for their business to enhance their business, there are many additions available in Salesforce for Sales Cloud. So what are all the different additions that are available? Salesforce IQ Starter, Professional Edition, Enterprise Edition, Unlimited Edition. These are the four different editions available for Salesforce Sales Cloud. So this call on which edition to use, which is actually suiting their business, this is one of the very first step that the business takes when they decide on to move itself for CRM. In fact, the VP, the higher management, the technical architect, they discuss and finally take a call on which Salesforce edition to purchase. But definitely as an admin, as a developer, as a consultant, it is very essential for us to understand what are all the different editions that are available and what are all the features that they offer and what's the price in the market. Definitely, yes, we got to have that understanding. And that's the whole purpose of having this particular lecture. So now that we are going to understand what are all the different versions, how they differ, how they differ by price, how they differ by features and how it impacts the business. So to get a detailed information of all these editions, go to www.salesforce.com, navigate to the products tab, you have the pricing information and there you go. You have all the information with respect to the different editions that are available. And as listed out earlier, we have a Salesforce IQ Starter, Professional Edition, Enterprise Edition and the Unlimited Edition. And as you can see here, the price climbs up the ladder. It is $25 per user per month for Salesforce IQ Starter, that is a basic edition and $65 per user per month for the Professional Edition and then $125 for the Enterprise and 250 for the unlimited edition and they are built per user per month basis and that's the reason it's called as on-demand CRM. So to better understand all the editions, their features, their comparison, we have a detailed chart that is available. So download the full edition comparison chart which gives you all the details. So these are the different editions available and these are the features that they offer. So now let's understand the different features that are available across the different editions. First comes the Salesforce IQ Starter. As we see, they charge $25 per user per month for using the Salesforce IQ Starter. But what's the main difference and what's the main restriction between this basic edition and the other editions? Salesforce IQ Starter is a basic edition and it supports maximum of 5 users. But if your business has more than 5 users, 
then you got to choose one among professional enterprise or the unlimited edition okay talking about salesforce iq starter so this is the basic edition from salesforce.com that provides the essential tools to manage business contacts and customers basically to store and manage the contacts the account information they can track email communications from ms outlook gmail or any other email system they can be integrated with the google apps and can access custom reports as well so this edition this basic edition is very much suitable for an entire new audience very small business or individuals to basically jump start their business but if your business has got more than 5 users then you got to choose one among the professional enterprise or the unlimited edition professional edition as you can see here it has got all the versions of the basic edition that is a salesforce iq starter plus the advanced features like you can measure the performance of your marketing campaign contract management forecast ideas product management solutions so this professional edition is very much suitable for small and mid sized teams but as you can see here there are two things one is the green tick and other is a dollar sign so what does it imply it implies that all these features that are marked they are available as part of a license but all the features that are marked against this dollar sign it means they are available but at a additional cost you can avail those features but you got to pay additionally and then avail those features moving on to the enterprise edition as you grow in your business you would definitely need to upgrade yourself from professional edition to enterprise edition because enterprise edition holds some of the most powerful features of salesforce first is the automation where you can automate your manual task and this is done through workflows and next comes integration and how we do it through web service apis where we can integrate salesforce application with other erp system and make data represented in a more understandable and unified manner so that's the power of Ent enterprise edition and then the unlimited edition unlimited edition has got all the features of enterprise edition plus additional features and the performance edition that is a kind of a complete package of a sales cloud and service cloud so though at this point of time we do not understand what are all the features that are listed out here we can now very well understand and compare the differences between editions right we know which all features they offer and which all features they don't offer and we know like how they differ in terms of cost so this knowledge of edition is definitely essential as a developer as a admin as a consultant but these are all the editions that are listed out here but there is one other edition that we got to talk about that is a developer edition apart from the four editions that we discussed there is a fifth edition that is called as a developer edition so what is the major difference between the other editions and the developer editions the other editions that are listed out they come at a cost but the developer edition is free of cost you needn't pay for creating account and developer edition so why is the whole concept of this developer edition it is solely created for the purpose of learning and development it contains uh, very good features of the enterprise edition but has got two limitations one is it can hold a maximum of two users and the next is the data storage capacity it can hold only maximum 5 mb of data hardly 100 to 150 records of data it can hold because this edition is not intended for any professional use but purely for learning for developers to try and understand the concepts of salesforce and this account that you create with the developer edition you will have unlimited access for your lifetime so these are all the different editions that are available in salesforce we'll understand how to create an account in the developer edition and that account using that account we'll be understanding how to standardize the applications how to create custom applications do all your assignments we'll totally understand the salesforce crm using that developer account that we create so lot more concepts coming up <music>